Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> Do a quick video here. Um, pouring a few crappie jigs. So let me show you what I'm doing. This is a do it mold freestyle jig. Uh, that one needs to clean up a little bit. So, oh, this is a sickle hook. It's a number four. And I'll tell you what, these things are sharp. But I love them. Uh, this freestyle jig with a number four. So I'll pour it all the way from a 32nd up to an eighth ounce using a number four hook. I use that eighth ounce to a number four <clears throat> just because sometimes I'm fishing, you know, if it's 15 foot, uh, 20 foot, sometimes on structure, I want to make sure I can get down to those fish quick and uh, it's a low profile. So that number four. I mean, I'm sinking it. When you when you powder coat it, you put your eyes on that sickle hook is just. Uh, I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, I do have wire keeper occasionally I put in, but most of the time, I mean, I'm dropping down with a minnow. Um, sometimes I'll just use plastic. This depends on type time of year. You know, <clears throat> spring I use plastic. Um, summer. I use a minnow and then fall, go back to plastic. Uh, just depends if I'm on docks or if I'm fishing structure. Um, nice thing is when you pour them, it doesn't hurt so bad uh, when you get snagged up. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you a little run here that I do. Um, so like I said, these are number four. Let me see if I can find my package here I think these are from Barlow so number four hundred count sickle hook um, and so I've already poured a few of them my molds should still be warm I'm gonna go ahead and throw this, this guy in here nice thing <clears throat> you know it really says to to go up to a number two of 16 ounce but I like to keep this kind of a shorter shank with that sickle and sometimes I'll bend it out a little bit um, if I feel like I'm not hooking up good enough. And so that right there is... What is that? Uh, 3.32. And then the last one, let me grab a hook here. And that's 8 pounds. And I like those with that short shaft just because, yeah, when I'm jigging in the main lake that I fish on, um, it takes a little bit to get to the bottom and that eighth ounce, that number four, sometimes that's a ticket. Cut a lot of different fish on that. <clears throat> so got it squeezed in. You can see um, that seam is pretty tight. So the way I hit it is uh, I'll hit number one, number two, number three, and number four. And then we'll go ahead and break them out here. Now, because these have the uh, wire guide adder, usually I gotta take that off, but I'll show you how I do it. It's a quick kind of shake. I'll throw, throw this back in the pot. I'll do a twist on the shank, and then I'll do a twist on the eyelet. And that cleans it up pretty good. I mean, there's still just a little bit around the top but the fish don't seem to notice that so <clears throat> some folks definitely if you're selling them you're cleaning them up probably a little bit tighter than I am um, a lot of what I'm doing is for myself uh, family friends type of stuff so I'm not too picky uh, <clears throat> these pliers get that mohawk off pretty good too so it, it's still pretty clean and when you powder coat that, um, it is forgiving as well. Um, it'll help clean that up just a little bit, smooth those lines. Uh, sometimes that little mohawk will get you, but just do a twist there, twist on your eyelet. Um, looks like I have a little bit more of a gap than what I wanted to. This eyelet's quite a bit on it, so I can pull that off. It's clean. There we 
we go. And then the last one, uh, that's a 32nd ounce. That's a pretty clean little, little jig. Um, Sometimes uh, they do get a little bit of movement in them. So this head is a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. It moves a little bit. When I powder coat and bake that, that's actually gonna help that out a little bit. Um, I can also squeeze it with pliers, but, uh, but really if I bake it, it'll solve that up. So I'm not worried about the head. But anyways, so that's a pour uh, freestyle jig. Like I say, I'm using a number four all the way up to, uh, from a 32nd to an eighth ounce. Um, I just love that hook, the sickle hook, super sharp. Um, I'm not using the wire guides. Um, it's really a, probably the shortest shank you can use all the way up to eighth. Um, you just kind of got to get used to how you put it in there. And always making sure that when you clamp it, that seems tight. So, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll probably shoot another video here. Um, maybe powder coating, putting some eyes on, make them look real good. But, uh, everybody have a good day. So, um, I purchased this fluid bed from eBay. Super cheap, 25 bucks, come with this. Really, you can make it yourself. I mean, I even have a 3D printer. I can print a really nice one. Uh, your air source is filtered through a coffee filter. Um, and so, I just, you know, it's almost easier to buy it than, than the time it is to, to make it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the, uh, the eyelet. Um, if you're going to invest a little bit of money... I bought these at a local fishing shop. They're about $4, uh, but they're heavy duty. Um, let's see if I can find the ones I had from, I want to say I purchased from Walmart. And, uh, I mean, they work pretty decent. Oh, here they are. The problem is, is they're just not as strong. So, you can see they're just pretty big difference in size. Um, these work really well. I love them. So I'm going to turn this heat on. This is a, a Warrior. Uh, it's from Harbor Freight. And I want to say I paid like $8 for it on sale. Um, works. It's everything I need. <clears throat> Another thing is, is we're going to actually try something new. I haven't done it, so you'll probably be able to make fun of me. But what I've seen, uh, once you dip, is is you can take your brush in uh, another color, kind of powder that on the top. Uh, black and chartreuse has been, well, throughout my whole fishing career, some of the best colors to use together. So I'm going to do that on my head. Um, we're going to give it a whirl. We're going to see what it looks like. I'll probably keep the video no matter what, uh, so you all learn with me. So just to give it a try. Uh, here we go. Be some, a little bit louder here. Actually turned out pretty good. 
I'm gonna grab this hook. Nice thing is when you're holding your eyelet, um, you don't get it all clogged up. I'm gonna have eyes on here in this spot. So really kind of that head will be black and chartreuse on the back. And I'll be hooked up right here. So you know, as long as I do a loop knot, they should be able to see both of those collars um, on that head. So just something to try. I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, this color has always been good to me. So I'll end up uh, baking this and then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put some eyes on there. Um, and then I'll probably do some tying on some of these. So I'll tie up uh, bucktails on there. Um, just a couple. Sometimes I do better even without uh, bucktails tied up. Just with uh, a minnow on there or uh, you know something similar to that plastic. So um, yeah, turned out pretty good. Better than what I was thinking. So I'm going to go through these, um, like I say, I got a, well, basically this is what I did earlier, so, yeah, quite a few on there. I'll get through them pretty quick, probably take me about 15, 15 minutes, I'll get them done, ready to bake them, and then be finishing up here. It's getting a little bit late tonight. Alright, uh... Just want to show a few finished up here. So let's take a look. So this is uh, a couple of these or a few of them using that paintbrush. Can I see it just kind of dusted it? That guy's a flat top, by the way. Uh, a couple of these I just dipped, so they're kind of half and half. So instead of uh, sprinkling it. I just kind of dipped that half in. So those fish will see both definitely when it's pulling through the water. Um, you know, so these are kind of good examples of a dusting, which is like a sparkle, you know, chartreuse, which I think, I think that's going to be awesome. Um, and then the other, you know, kind of see them land up here. The other is dipping and I think either one's gonna be good. I really like the sparkle though. And that's using a paintbrush and just basically tapping it, you know, on that head. Reheating it up, dipping it in your water, uh, bake them 15 minutes and uh, throw some eyes on there. So they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Those right there are eighth inchers with the number four hook. Freestyle jigs, pretty awesome. So I'd say if you're looking to get in molds, that would uh, that'd be one I'd get.